President William Ruto landed in Port Princess Haiti on Saturday a hundred days after flagging off the Kenyan police contingent of the multinational security support mission to the Caribbean country. Ruto was in Haiti to assess the progress of the mission, visit and commend the Kenyan contingent working alongside their Haitian counterparts and meet with the transitional presidential council. While there, President William Ruto held private discussions with Kenyan police officers in Haiti on Saturday. They informed him that they needed more resources and prompt payments of their allowances. The officers raised concerns about their monthly compensations on the back of you know, recent delays. President Ruto assured them that of their welfare will be taken care of, explaining they had an assurance covered through the National Police Service and they will be in form of more covers in the new course. The Kenyan officers who are leading a multinational security support mission being funded by the United Nations informed the president that they needed more equipment. Some of the weaponry they have requested include helicopters, additional ammo, personal carriers, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Mutabadi and Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithurek Ndiki were present during the interaction. President Ruto, who will be at attending the United Nations General Assembly in New York, said the sufficient resources are critical to the realization of the mission's objective to restore peace and stability in the Caribbean nation. He said that there is an equally need for the people in Haiti, especially women and the youth, to ensure they take advantage of the mission and launch Drives, drives for change. The head of state said that the, he had been briefed of a number of raids that have been, you know, conducted by the Kenyan officers and their Haiti National Police colleagues who are working under the command of Kenya's Geoffrey Otunge. Ruto said he was proud of how they had conducted their raids, especially after they secured critical infrastructure and restored peace in, in regions that had proven impossible stability in previous operations. Kenya had prompted to deploy a total of 1,000 police officers to Haiti, but it has so far only recent 396. President Ruto pre revealed that the additional officers were still undergoing training and that they will be ready for deployment in the next few weeks. So far, the mission has arrested two gang leaders who are being grilled. The two are from the Cheney, Mechan and Pier 6 gangs. In a statement last week, Mr. Otunge said that the officers would not look back and they will ensure they fully restore peace in Haiti. Three weeks ago, United Nations of America Secretary of State Tony Blinken said that it was important to ensure that the officers have the you know, required equipment and resources. So far, Kenya and Jamaica are the only countries that have sent their officers to Haiti. Other countries that promised to do so and are yet to send their officers are Bahamas, Jamaica, Antigua, Babuda, Italy, Spain, Mongolia, Senegal, and Guatemala and Peru. Mr. Blinken said that it was critical to ensure the officers in the Caribbean nation get their salaries in time. He said this and I quote, we have more, we have some money in the bank to do that, including through the UN fund that has been established, but we are projecting out and as we are looking at growing the mission itself, we also have to figure out what's going to be required to pay for the for that and of course if you're watching us for the very first time remember to subscribe to the channel this is sema nadevi charms